Hey all, this is 012 Boku coming at you with another movie review. And yep, it is pretty soon, and this time I'm coming at you with. Well, bam! Disney's Robin Hood. And as you guys can see, that is the next one in the. Uh, long-running uh, children's saga that I have been in, but hey, hey, like I said, slowly but surely getting the children's movies done. I have a uh, small handful of them to still do, but they are almost there, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting through them and getting to the other films, but I mean, this has also been an enjoyable ride, and I shall miss it. But with uh, Disney's Robin Hood, you know, this is a great, great movie, and you no, know, good, good stuff. I mean, for the most part, I'm going to say that Disney's Robin Hood is an entertaining ride. That this movie is, without a shadow of a doubt, just a whole lot of fun. Because it's fairly simple. You know, straightforward characters, straightforward story. You know, everybody knows, well, everybody should know the story of Robin Hood. If not, you know... What are they teaching in schools at the moment? Or, you know, where have you know, people been learning the storytelling? Because, come on, it's Robin Hood. Classic, classic story of Robin Hood. If you haven't heard it, you know, hey, hey. <laughs> go out there and, you know, find out more about this stuff. Because Robin Hood is a classic story that's from America's time, Britain's time. You know, it's probably known all over Europe now. Maybe even in the countries of Japan and everything like that. But basically, straightforward story of Robin Hood, the fox, a fox in this case, as you can see by the cover, um, played by Brian Bedford, uh, going around robbing from the rich to give to the poor, because the poor in this time always doesn't have much, and throughout the country of England, they're always being taken advantage of. Robin Hood is always there for him, and he's you know doing what he can to help give back to the less fortunate with his partner little john voiced brilliantly by the original blue from jungle book phil harris who did a another great job as you know little john and bas basically what little john is is a giant bear i don't know if he's well he sort of is and he's on the back here if you don't no, sorry about that you guys uh, see him, he's right there on the bottom there, oh, sorry, right there on the bottom there if you can see him. But yeah, it's basically just Blue as Little John helping out Robin Hood. And you know, <laughs> once again, just great, great entertaining stuff. And Phil Harris nailed the character, but basically, once again, Phil Harris is just playing Blue as Little John, basically, at least to me. And so, you know, Robin Hood and Little John go around England. They are robbing from Prince John, who is brilliantly, brilliantly voiced by uh, Peter uh, Ustinov, with his associate Sir Hiss, greatly voiced by Terry Thomas. They're always uh, trying to steal from them, and especially him, because he has the most money. And we get a uh, great version of telling of how, as we all know from history, uh, King Richard goes off to fight in the Crusades and we're wondering, and you know, that's where Prince John uses King Richard being gone to take power, and everybody wonders, well, how did that happen? You know, like, he just decided to go on a crusade, and you know, most of history shows that uh, King Richard wanted to defend the rights of Christianity in the church, but in this movie, Sorry, uh, Prince John tells, uh, told Sir Hiss to hypnotize King Richard to fool him and going off on a crusade. It's basically like he was tricked to go on a crusade. And, uh, like, what happens is, is, you know, you get this, like, straightforward thing of Prince John, who in real life is a coward, and Prince John in this movie still is a coward, but he's also, like, a mama's boy, always crying for his mommy, sucking his thumb, like, Prince John is a child, and Peter Ustinov uh, plays that so well, and I gotta give him a lot of credit. I mean, this guy was the, 
I think uh, Bulkus or something and Spartacus. I forget the character's name, but he was in Spartacus. He was great in that. And for anybody who knows Spartacus, it's the role that gave him his uh, Best Supporting Actor Academy Award, which he was great. We given for him that movie, but in this movie he just plays a awesome, very fun Prince John character. And Terry Thomas, who's a great comedic British actor, just went along right with him and they both played off each other well in this film. And you know, they're stealing from him in comedic ways, like sucking the rings off Prince John's fingers, like stealing the gold with a classic, just putting a knife through it and catching it in another bag up in the bottom, or like sneaking in while their eyes are closed because there's a scene where Robin Hood and Little John they dress up as fortune tellers and they're trying to tell Prince John's fortune and while he has his eyes closed seeing the fortune they're just stealing all his gold and everything so it's just a great fun time and also much like the story of Robin Hood uh, Robin Hood and Little John are being chased down by uh, the Sheriff of Nottingham, who is a wolf in this movie, played by Pat Buttram, who once again acts as a Southern Westerner, but I think he really was Southern, of course. And, but he always used to play in a lot of Western movies of that type of character, and he brings that character to Disney's Robin Hood, and it actually works. It works uh, really well, and um, you know, fits well to the movie, and you know, he just makes it funny with what he does. And Despicable too, is he's playing the evil sheriff. He, he was a good sheriff of Nottingham as the wolf character. And, you know, the more it goes on, you know, he's chasing him down. He never can catch him, but he's always trying to work with Prince John and Hiss to try to catch Robin Hood. And they come up with these great elaborate schemes, but they never seem to work. Like, uh, they try to catch Robin Hood in the archery contest doesn't exactly work out that way but um what happens is is that Prince John suspects that Robin Hood is there Robin Hood is actually disguised as a stork trying to win the kiss from Maid Marian and the trophy that he's supposed to get sorry the sheriff of Nottingham doesn't even realize it's him but Prince John knows and what happens is is uh when Robin Hood's trying to claim his award goes over to Prince John, Prince John, you know, discostumes him, or, you know, like, ruins his disguise, or de-disguises him, there we go, and he ruins that, and, you know, like, he gets actually captured for just a few moments, and, you know, there's all that stuff that just goes on to it, but I just love how the Sheriff of Nottingham was, it wasn't the wiser, and Prince John, this bumbling fool, sexist thumb, calling for his mommy all the time, knew that it was Robin Hood. So it's just a great mishmash there. And also in this film you have the uh, love interest of course. You have uh, May, May Marion and Robin Hood you know together. Like they knew each other when they were kids from a long long time ago and Robin Hood always has her on the brain and he always wants to be with her but he believes that he can't be with her because he's a criminal even though they are good criminals helping out the poor. But he just realizes, you know, he's an outlaw, basically an outcast of society. But it's really cool how they bring those two together. You also have uh, other characters like Roger Miller plays a uh, rooster minch minstrel, the musician, I believe. And he's the narrator throughout the story, which was a good role for him. And I enjoyed Roger Miller in that role. You have uh, Andy Devine, who does... Friar Tuck, who, you know, is really good. He's a badger, and, you know, um, it's really cool to see him fill out that role. And, you know, overall, just, you know, good, good stuff. And, I mean, it is a great movie. Like I said, it's basically the whole story of Robin Hood in a nutshell, and, you know, there's really nothing new to add to it except for it's great Disney fun. And, and you know, that's what I could say. Like, you know, it's got great animation, great animal characters, I mean, I don't know if this movie came before or after uh, Fox and the Hound, but if it did, you know, you see Fox and the Hound in this, you see Jungle Book, you see a whole lot of films that, you know, a lot of people would probably catch if they just watched this. You know, like Cop from Jungle Book, Baloo from Jungle Book, you know, a lot of other characters from other Disney films, like Fox and the Hound, if that indeed was out before this. 
and stuff like that. So, you know, it was really clever what they just tried to do with this movie. And I would recommend it for anybody because, you know, fun music, fun story, just great comedy. So overall, you know, for a lot of their series classic films now, like Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, um, a lot of those, Robin Hood is just a great fun time. And I'm glad to own this film. I want to get the DVD. Do not own it yet, but Robin Hood is a great film, guys. I would check it out. And as usual, man, this one was a little shorter than my others, but once again, not a lot to talk about for plot, otherwise, because once again, the story of Robin Hood, like I said, was so simple. But, you know, just let me know what you guys thought of the uh, Robin Hood. You know, did you like it? Did you like how they were all animals? Did you enjoy the characters, the acting, you know, the story? Was it worth it to you guys? So yeah, just drop me a drop me a line in the boxes or anything and let me know and see how things go, alright? So I will be 012 Boku. I will be coming at you hopefully with another movie review soon because I do like doing these and I do like entertaining those who watch it. So I will come back to you guys another time, alright? See you then.